happy to see being put in place now, and it's all because he contacted NBC4 Response. This is really restitution for myself as well as all of those that are to come. I'm grateful for that and thankful for you all for the diligence that you all helped me with to get to where we are at this point. And I want to commend NBC4 and, and, and your efforts in terms of highlighting the problem because it, it has been a challenge. And so we're hoping that this bill, this legislation, will fix that. This is such a big deal. This new law will go into effect October 1st. This all started with a complaint to NBC4 mm -hmm. Response. So if you have a consumer issue you need help solving, just send us a tip at NBCWashington.com slash response. It all starts with you. Yeah. So thank you yeah. so much to our viewers as well. And to Al. Thanks, and, Al. Right yeah. in Virginia, D.C., just so you know, they do mm -hmm. not regulate moving companies. So this wow. is a big deal for our region. Let's hope they follow. Well yes. done yes. for this sticking Hogan with us. Sure. working for you. That's right. Thanks, Susan. Welcome. Okay, let's get the word on the weather. Fortunately, it has shifted out of here, but a lot of people were starting to head toward the beach and the bay yeah. when all this started to unfurl in the skies above us. Yeah. I'm sure this put a wrench into some situations for folks who are now out there surveying damage in their front and backyards mm -hmm. today, Doug and Amelia. Yeah, I talked to a friend of mine out uh, in the Herndon, you know, one of my friends from Herndon High School who actually had a tree almost, a big branch almost fall down on her as she was trying to get her kids to school mm -hmm. uh, or pick them up from school. And this has been playing out all across the region we're seeing these chopper shots now of that what we think is a tornado up around the columbia area and there was definitely a warned uh, a warning for that tornado up around the columbia area earlier in howard county yeah that was between about three and four o'clock this afternoon we also had a tornado warning for the district mm -hmm. now we're not really seeing any signs in the district yet that there was potentially a tornado out there but regardless doug the storm reports coming in they keep coming in a lot of trees down out there yeah a ton of trees now take a look show you what we're dealing with out there right now first off uh the storms are gone they are out of the area almost completely. The severe thunderstorm watch has been dropped. This is a new one, though, and we'll talk about that one uh, in just a second. But look at all of the damage reports around our region, and I want to focus in on this area here. Look at this from parts of Montgomery County right on through Howard County. That was a storm that went tornadic. I do think this will become a tornado in and around uh, uh, Howard County and around Columbia. National Weather Service has to get out to see it. Now, down around this storm coming through Fairfax, a lot of trees down, a lot of wind, 70 mile an hour wind, 68 mile an hour winds at the airport. Look at this. We told you this was right over Nats Park. Well, Nationals Park, 54 mile per hour winds a little bit earlier with that storm. You can see now it's all moving out in towards the uh, in towards the Chesapeake Bay over towards the eastern shore. Going to be a, a messy night across the eastern shore later this evening. If you're heading out to Ocean City, watch out. Rehoboth, same deal. Watch out. You could see some down trees on your way. Now, how about that Memorial Day forecast? I'm going to Ocean City tomorrow, Amelia. <laughs> Hopefully everything's all cleaned up. I know. Tough gig you got to do out there tomorrow. The weather is looking really good at our local beaches this weekend. Or if you're staying here in town, the weather also looking nice, feeling very much like summer out there on Sunday and Monday as well. Here's that Memorial Day weekend forecast. Saturday, a high of 80. It's nice and warm. The humidity, not an issue at all on Saturday, but the humidity does build into the area on Sunday with a high of 92 degrees. It will be our second 90 degree day so far this year. There's about a 30% chance for a shower or thunderstorm later in the day on Sunday. Maybe an isolated thunderstorm on Memorial Day, but most of the day is looking dry with a mix of clouds and sun and a high temperature of 87. So if you're opening up your pool, you're heading to the neighborhood pool this weekend. The weather is looking good, especially out there on Saturday. Memorial Day looking great as well. Here's the forecast for the beaches. Plenty of sunshine Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Maybe a thunderstorm at the beach on Memorial Day. A small risk of that happening. The water temperature, it's cold, 64 degrees. But notice a high on Friday of 79, 70 Saturday and mid 80s out there on Sunday. Our temperature trend, Doug, it is going up. We could be tracking our first heat wave next week. Yeah, we have that starting uh, on Tuesday, most likely, but another 90 on Sunday. Just as you mentioned, take a look at the next four days. 83 tomorrow, 80 on Saturday, Friday and Saturday. Gorgeous 92 Sunday isolated storms on Sunday and Monday, but not a huge deal. 90 on Tuesday and then look at 95 on Wednesday, the hottest day of the year, and uh, we could be a little bit on the low side there. We'll talk much more about that. Uh, Six o'clock hour starting in just a couple of minutes. We'll be right back. Closed captioning brought to you by Belfort, Washington's largest furniture and mattress store. More than 2,300 patients in the D.C. area are waiting for an organ transplant.